Another day, another stolen code pen. This is a slightly modified version of Gautam Singlas pen, so credits to him. Let's start by adding an H2 element with some text in it, followed by adding a data text attribute, which value should be the same text. I quickly edit this font Antonio from Google Fonts, link will be in the description. The following part lets us save the background color as a variable since we will be using it a lot. As always this snippet is used for centering and setting the background color, which we referenced from the variable. Let's continue by styling the word itself. The important properties are the position, text transform, width and the transition. Using all may not be the best option, but for the sake of this tutorial I kept it that way. After that we add a little skew when we hover over the text. At this point it should look like this. Before we continue, let me explain the effect. We have our original text and before element, which is the half green text, as well as an after element, which will be the slash line. These two elements will be added through the style sheet itself in the following steps. So knowing that, with this before selector, we are adding the before element, meaning the green part. The most important property for that is content. Here we access the text variable we declared in the h2 tag. After that we position it on top of the original h2 tag. Give it a background with the same color as our page background and set the height to 50% or somewhere around that depending on the font. Now we need to make sure something happens when the mouse hovers over this before element, which is displacing it a little bit and adding some color. The text shadow adds an additional glow effect. If you didn't fail just copying me, copying someone else, it should look like this right now. Let's move on to the after element, which is the line in the middle. This one is basically a rectangle aligned to the center. It has an radial gradient and zero width, which means it's hidden. I skip the ease in out part for the transition for whatever reason. Now if the mouse hovers over it, its width should increase so it becomes visible. If this was all you needed, the work is done. But if you feel a bit more adventurous today, continue and find out how to create this one. Instead of the single h2 tag, we create a list of h2 tags. As you saw, I use emmet for that. If you don't know what that is, find out. Anyway, you need a structure like this. Here we repeat the same steps as in the beginning with the text and data text value. Obviously you need to adjust the font size. Quickly style the list itself as well as adjusting the height of the slash line. So far so Gucci. Now we can make each word its own color. For that add a class to the h2 text named green glow, red glow and so on. The last steps are splitting the color properties up based on the color classes. Once for the before element and once for the after element. Just move the background property to their specific color classes and change the color. If you like watching half-baked tutorials, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.